Hi there. Recently, one of our subscribers messaged us that he wanted to create a table that is based on the selected value tax function. And also, he would like to change something in the table based on the dynamic calculations, or let's say by selecting the slicers. But it was not possible. And he was getting a table, but still there was no data. Was that the same case with me? Or did I find something else? Well, if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you are up to date with all the videos and updates. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the selected value tax function and other functions that we can use with it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. All right, now let's start with the functions that we are going to use in this video tutorial. In this video, first we are going to use the SUMX. SUMX is a tax function that is going to return the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table. This is similar to SUM function, but in the SUM function, you cannot use an expression. Here you can use. The syntax is going to be pretty simple, where you have to use the SUMX, which is your tax function, then your table, and then the expression over here. After that, we are going to use the selected value tax function. This function is going to return you the value when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only. You cannot supply more than one value at a time. Please do remember that. Otherwise, it's going to return you the alternate result. Syntax is also, again, pretty simple. First, you have to write the selected value, then your column name and the alternative result. But you would like to return over there. Now, coming to the last function, which would be your filtered X function. Filtered X function is basically going to filter the data that you are looking for. It returns a table that represents a subset of another table or an expression. So in this text function, you have to first write your table name and then the filter that you would like to apply. So that was the scenario where user is saying that I want to use a selected value and then also I want to return a table. So what was happening? Let me take you over first my data model. I'm using AdventureWorks 2012 data over here and this is my very pretty simple data model. This is based on star schema where I have fact internet sales table at the center and then I have dim customer, dim product and dim date table all around it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create table using selected value text function and how we can do that. Well, I'm going to come over here to my data page. Over here you would find this new table. So click on this one. So what I'm going to write over here, I'm going to write a very simple DAX expression over here where I'm going to create a table based on my gender selection. And there I'm going to use my selected X value function. So this is my pretty simple expression over here. And you would see it's showing me one error, but it's because I haven't put a comma over here. Now this is clear. So I have a ding customer table where I have a gender column. So what I'm saying that filter this and create a table where I can select the gender because I'm using over here this selected value text function which is going to allow me to select a value. So whatever value I'm going to select for the gender filter or slicer, it's going to return a table based on that. So I'm using selected value and my gender name over here. So let's select this. You would find that table has been created and let me close it. So now you can see on my right hand side at the bottom, this gender based data table has been created and you will see all the column names and everything is over here. But now let's check whether really my data is there or not. So let me just close this and you would find that my table has been selected, but there's no data at all. So the one reason can be I haven't made my selection over there. So what I can do, I'll come over here. I'm going to create a new page here. Let me select some of the fields quickly over there. It's just for the demonstration purpose. So please don't go into much detail over here. I'm just clicking anyhow. And since my selected value text function is taking gender from the dim customer table, over here is my gender. So I'm going to create a slicer out of it. So let me create a slicer. This is pretty easy. So this is my slicer over here, but if I'm even I'm selecting male or female, none of the data is appearing. That means this table is not getting any of the data. However, irrespective of that, if I'm going to change my code over there, let's say if I'm over here and rather than selecting this selected value, if I'm going to select only male. So let's see whether it can populate some data or not. And now it's saying that my text expression is wrong, but why it's wrong? So let's check again. 
into the code and over here it's because of this so let me just delete this and here you can see that all the gender related data is appearing over here and even i'm gonna fetch this gender over here you would find this gender related data is there so no matter what you select over here so you will find that data is pretty coming over here and everything is working fine and also since we have selected only mail in the table expression so that's why all the mail is coming over here irrespective of what i select over here so that is not gonna work over here now the real question is why the selected value text function is not working over there there's a reason for that when you use the selected value text function it doesn't work in this way and please do let me know in the comment section as well what are your thoughts over it why it's not working but we can make it work and how we can make it work we have to use it with other text functions so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create sales based on my text function how i can do that so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use another DEX function that is some text function and there I'm going to calculate the total sales for males and females and my value is going to change dynamically through this slicer. So let me just go over there and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new measure. So let me close this. In the fact table, first I'm going to create a total sales measure. Total sales, this is my measure and this is going to be sum of the sales amount. Now, after that, I'm gonna create another measure, which would be of the gender based. So for that, I'm gonna paste one very simple code over here. So let me go again there, over here. And this is my DAX expression, where I'm using some X, then I'm using the filter of the fact tables, where I'm saying related dim customer, and same selected value DAX function I'm using here for the gender column. And then I'm using the sales amount, that is gonna be my total sales amount, because I'm using some X over here. So this is the DEX function I'm going to use and this time it's going to return me the right results. So let me just select it over here or hit the enter button. So before going that, uh, so let me just get it over there in the overview. So this is the same page I just created where I can put my different measures in a formatted way. And this is my card where I can bring my this newly created measure which is sales by gender. And here you can see that. And now if I'm going to toggle between male and female, it's going to change. So you can see that clearly. Now it is working and it is giving you the results as well. So whenever you have to use your selected value X function and you want to create a table on the fly, then you have to combine it with any other DEX function. Then you can dynamically calculate whatever you are looking for over there. Now in this part, I'm going to get my total sales as well. So here's my total sales. Over here, you can see that my sales by gender is coming as the header over here. But if you would like to make the title dynamic as well, you can do that, but which is very easy. So what you have to do, you have to format this one. To format, you have to come here. And under the visual, you would find the different options over there. So you have to go to the title one. And here, title, we are going to clean and we are going to paste a new value over here. But I haven't created that. So let me first create. So in order to make it dynamic, we have to create a DEX expression. And for that, we have to go again here to the table and there I'm gonna create a new measure. So this measure, again, going to check dynamically if my selected value is my male gender or female gender. And based on that, it's gonna return me a value. And so over here, you can see that clearly, if my selected value equals to male or M, then it's gonna say total sales by males. Otherwise, it's gonna be total sales by females. And you can customize it further if you would like to. Again, hit the enter button or click on this select button, close this one. And now I can go to this format pane over here under titles, I can go to the expressions. Here you have to bring this field value and you have to select over here the measure that you have created. So let me get it here, click OK. And now you can see that I have selected female, it's coming female. But before going that, I have to stop this category label over here. Now, male or female, you can see the title has been changed over here. So this is my total sales and this is this one. But if you have noticed that my slicer is not changing this sales, and it's only because of the interactive actions. So I selected this, I went into the format and here I selected edit interactions. With the help of this, you can filter or not filter any other resource and where you can see that it's not filtering out over there so that's the reason it's not filtering out so guys what do you think are you going to apply it now do you have any idea why if i'm using only selected value dex function and creating a table the table is creating but there's no data 
why it is not there and why it's working when I'm using with any other DEX function. I hope now you have clear understanding about selected value DEX function and how you can use it to create a table and even to create dynamic calculations. But in case you have any other topic and you would like us to create any more videos, please don't forget to comment in the comment section. And also, if you're looking for any of the Power BI trainings, please do let us know. See you in the next video.